Well, hello, strange people, and welcome back to the channel. You find me out on the moor again, and today you find me out with Ant. No, you don't. You find me out with Mr. Rob Wild Camper. Hello, strange people. <laughs> He's come all the way down from the Far East, past the Cossack Horsemen, across the plains, to come down and join me in the hills for a day or two. We're going to be uh, marching out across the moor. Dan, I am going to walk his legs off. Um, and uh, we'll see where it gets us. And I'll bring you back later. Lovely. Just as you start filming, yeah? Go on, get your shot. <laughs> You carry on, don't worry about me. I've been out with Anne. Until you've been out with a jinx. <laughs> Until you've been out with a jinx, you just do not know what annoying people are like. And I'm keeping that in, Anne. <laughs> well, so far so good. I'm out here him over the head with a shovel. Um, we've just stopped for a cup of tea at uh, done a goat behind us there and we're making our way slowly now we're going to be crossing the Rattle Brook for those that know where we are and heading out towards Fur Tour which is off in the distance it's a little bit cloudy nice and cool so it's a great day for walking Beautiful, and the skylarks are giving it uh, some racket out here. It's beautiful. Right, I shall catch you in a mo. Oh, Right, well, we're making our way across the plain now. Big open, wide expanse of absolutely nothing. Rob's uh, behind me. And behind him is the tour we'll camp on tomorrow. On our way back. But yeah, Dan, his legs are aching. He's filming me, so I'll film him. Film him. Film him. I didn't say that. Right. Fur toys. We're roughly three parts of the way now. The army are out training. There's a red flag flying over there. We saw three Chinooks come over earlier, and then the gunfire started. I expect they're all having tea and biscuits at the moment. Seems to have stopped. Yeah, it's beautiful. Sun's trying to come out, but not quite. Not much, uh, not much wind. Perfect day for a hike. Catch you in a bit. We've made it over the top of Armacum and the big old plain up there. We're now just going down into the bowl, which could end up being a bit soggy. There's a brook at the far end of the bowl, so if we need to top up the water, we can. There's no water, obviously, at the top of the tour. It's absolutely silent. Apart from the skylarks, Rob's camera. It's absolutely silent out here today. Beautiful. Catch you in a mo. <laughs> Keep your head dry. <laughs> I'll be fine. Sure you will. Right, well we just uh, stopped for a bumps <laughs> off. We just stopped for a quick break before the last final push up to there. Do you know what? I think I actually got the camera right that time. I don't normally do that. It's uh, quite difficult going here, quite tusky, tusky, but it was better than going through the bog. 
Enjoying yourself? Oh yeah, loving it. Oh, it's great. It's nice to have a personalised guide, you know. A Sherpa. Sherpa. Just don't know why not carry my bag for me, that's the only thing. Well, I told you to put it down and I'll walk back and get it for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Staring at you. Yeah. Well, Mama told me not to come. Hello, what's going on there? There's a white one. There's a sheep out there with some questions to answer. Rob and I were just discussing as to whether I filter water. You know, even this beautiful crystal clear mountain stream, no more than a quarter of a mile from the source. And I said to him, always do it because you just don't know what might be dead in it. And then we came across this poor old girl. No idea what's killed her. But uh, looks like we got steak for tea. I know Rob's knees playing him up a bit and this is a very rough climb when you got sore knees that's for sure very steep but uh, well worth it very well worth it well made it to the top Stunning views. I'll show you around properly in a minute. Just gonna make sure Rob's all right. I don't know where he is. Here he is. It's lovely. It's great, isn't it? You play football up here. I'm impressed, Si. Well, I've seen what I think is the best pitch, but I think I know you well enough now to, to know it's better over here. Wow. This is a room with a view, this one. It's worth it. My knee's shot, but it's worth it. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, look at this. Very nice. Perfect little spot, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, somebody's on a tent yeah. there. You can have that pad if you want. Wherever you like, mate. Well, there's, there's lots of good spots. Well, he's made it, so I'll bring you back in a mo. We'll get our tents up and uh, actually, we'll probably just lie down and go sleep for a few hours. <laughs> Catch you in a mo.
So for those of you interested on using my Hilleberg Act to go tonight and Rob has a very fancy looking wind sheet here. What is this tent? Uh, look at it. It's an X mid two. X mid two. Yes. So yes, welcome. Bit of a mess in there. Welcome to have a look. It's quite big. It's a two-man tent, hence the two. But, um, they do a, they do a one-man version as well. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. It does the job. It's quite lightweight. Oh, it's not bad, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Seeing it sort of. You know, like this almost traditional tent shape, you expected yes. that the yes. sleeping the range would be. Way. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a good use. You get two vestibule, vestibules. They're quite large. Yeah, um, no, it's quite good. I've just put my bag inside because it you know, saves all the bugs crawling in it. And yeah. Any foxes want to nibble at it, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, we'll see if it's still standing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that looks solid as a rock, though. They always do. That looks like it's at home there, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. So still. Ah, it's a perfect evening. Perfect. And yeah. what's more perfect is you can see Cornwall. <laughs> Her tour is one of those tours that you can see well off into the distance when you come to Dartmoor. And the bit that you can see the most is this large outcrop here. Really, really shows up from a long, long way away. I mean, over, over there is Great Myth and the staple tours where I was with his aunt last week and you could see Fur Tour clearly in the distance. Oh, it's really nice and warm when the sun comes out. It's around about 5.30 now and uh, when the sun comes out it's beautiful. Skylark singing. So peaceful. So, so peaceful. This is a big old lump of rock. I don't know if there's an easy way up it, but it uh, might make a nice shot if we go up there. Great big jumble here, look. At some point this is falling off the top. Beautiful. Well, getting up wasn't easy, but not too, too difficult. But getting down looks as though it's going to be a right nightmare. It's, uh, it's quite a lot higher than it looks when you're up here. Lovely. Right, Rob suggests I throw my camera down to him, but uh, he's now walking, I don't know if you can see him, there he is. He's now walking away so he doesn't have to look at the blood. Catch you in a minute, I hope. Just want to say now, I really don't advise anybody trying that. This is a Spot that's a long way from anywhere, and if anything goes wrong, it, uh, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be a long time before anybody gets to you. Although, to be honest, a helicopter could land up here, but even so, I really don't advise anybody to try that if you come to Fur Tour. Right, I think we're going to have a brew. Oh. Is that true what you said about Dan? Yeah, he is. Oh, dear <laughs> God. 
Oh, the jinx is the same. The jinx. Ah, it's a shame. Shame the others couldn't make it, really. But you know, yeah. never mind. The sun shining in the sea away off in the distance from the north coast of Cornwall. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll make Carl say it's absolutely um, stunning. stunning. I'm not sure that's not even a ship there, look. Uh, we'll see when this video is edited whether I can see that or not. I'm fairly sure. It's going in out of focus, but I'm fairly sure there's a ship there. Anyway. Mr. Wild Camper there has made me... He's made me a hot chocolate and whiskey. What do you say it was? Honey Jack Daniels? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's not a special whiskey, it's just a Jack Daniels honey infused whiskey. And um, my friend Dan from Camelot like Bushcraft tried to help me try that one night and I thought, oh, that's nice. So I brought some along and shared it with my friend here. So, yeah, cheers. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Mm. And there we go. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Catch you in a mo. Clouds moving. It's good with the big, the big clouds.